First of all, who are the Cambridge Commons and what do you campaign on? Well, as you say, it's actually it's a campaign group. It's a um, equality group. We're most concerned about disparities of income and it's particularly relevant to Cambridge because this has just been found in a survey to be the most unequal city in Britain. And you've had a number of 16 to 25 year olds here for your workshop this afternoon. What are the issues that they've been raising with you? Well, I think, I think it was, um, we felt it was very important to um, try and arrange a meeting and also put it in the hands of young people. So it has all been, um, all the detail, we provided a kind of very general framework and booked rooms and things like that. But we very much wanted young people to actually set the agenda and decide how they wanted to talk as well as what they wanted to talk about. That came out of the public meetings that the Cambridge Commons has been having where we were very much aware that young people weren't really represented, young people weren't really either turned onto the issues or, or felt able to um, participate and to come. So we set up this specifically for young people and we called it the Youth Assembly and we've learnt a lot. We've learnt a lot ourselves and hopefully they themselves have learnt something from being together and discussing the issues. I think one of the key issues that's come out of it is concern about transport. Um, there's also very great concern about housing, which we've um, been aware of is a huge problem in terms of affordability. And also we talked about the world of work and um, it, it, it's useful for us and interesting for them, hopefully, to talk amongst themselves and with other experts who we brought in here, younger people but who are already in the world of work, to talk about their experiences. And obviously people feel excited about work, for instance, but um, also intimidated by it. And, 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 there's, a, and there's, a, there's a barrier there and an obstacle that needed to be um, brought down and reduced. But I think the key issue that's come out of this and, and the important aspect is it's given real impetus to our concerns as a campaign group that the issue of transport is absolutely key um, in Cambridge at the moment and young people talked very um, passionately about their concerns about uh, the fact that, that it's so unreliable public transport and it's so expensive and people, particularly those young people who live in, in the vi villages outside of Cambridge, um, have enormous problems even socialising because of the problems of getting in and out. Mum and Dad are not always available, may not even have a car, and how do they actually uh, retain those important social links, even with their friends at school, if they're at Sixth Form College in Cambridge, um, they're forced to um, leave and move back home at the end of school and then on a Saturday night when all the parties are taking place they might be unable to go to them. This is, this is not a good situation, this is grossly unfair and something that's really got to be sorted out. I think in general terms it wouldn't be unfair to say that we don't have public transport in Cambridge and the bus services are not good Will enough. Will we be seeing future events um, involving young people and perhaps bringing in other organisations to increase the pressure on those in authority? Yes, I would hope that this is just the very beginning of a, of a much more organic and wider process whereby we hold these kind of meetings on a regular basis. It doesn't have to be held by the Cambridge Commons, we've just been a facilitator here in an ideal world, young people would take it um, away themselves and organise their own assemblies and uh, we would only participate if they wanted us to. But hopefully, yes, this is the beginning of something um, more important. And certainly we've been on a learning um, process about how to attract young people, how to talk to them. We've had some cooperation from the schools. They've allowed us to go in and give talks. Um, Cambridge Regional College, Hills Road, Long Road, Combaton, it's been very helpful but it is the beginning and, and we need to know how to um, do that in a, in a more fluent way. And so my final question is, how, uh, ever since you started doing the talks and the engagement with young people in the schools and colleges, what's the most important thing that you've learnt as a result of running those events from the young people that perhaps you weren't previously aware of at the very, very start? 
I think the, the key thing that I personally have learnt is how privileged I am and how lucky I am to, have, to um, live in a, in a nice house, in a nice location and to have um, benefited from um, free education and um, a, a decent job that came out of that. And one of the issues that comes up very, very early on in a, in a conversation with young people is their concern about the cost of education now because of tuition fees. I'm very concerned about um, young people's situation versus my own situation. And to hear the individuals talk about um, the detail of their lives and their concerns about um, education cost and um, public transport and how, how can they ever afford to live in Cambridge um, I find that deeply distressing and I think the council and everyone in authority needs to find that deeply distressing and more than that they need to act and do something immediately. Lovely.